Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a complete spotless kitchen clean. We're going to be getting laundry done and I have a little bit of a haul for you that I ended up picking up today. So we're going to get started straight in the kitchen getting that stuff done because we made such a mess of it the night before. We tried to clean some of it up, but it was definitely time just to kick ourselves in the butt and get it done. Our stove was absolutely disgusting. My husband made some bacon and everyone knows how that goes. It just splatters everywhere. It was disgusting. So it really needed an extra scrubbing. And after a little bit, I finally got it spotless. These razors are the best to be able to help scrape off anything that seems stuck on there even when you use a sponge. You can actually find these on Amazon and I can link some of them down in the description box below because they have helped me clean this thing every single day.
every time I turn around, I swear there's more dishes, but I had to end up taking a break because my son came home from school and I made some tacos for dinner and then I was just playing with the kids, getting some more laundry done. So I put everything back in the sink and I needed to finally get this done before I went to bed because this was probably about an hour, hour and a half before their bedtime. And as you can see, my two-year-old is just trying to get everything out of the fridge. She's at that phase right now to where she has to grab everything and it drives me absolutely crazy. what this was about but I can tell you that it was either a my two-year-old or b my eight-year-old making me have that face it's been a lot of that recently but kids drive you crazy motherhood drives you crazy and that's okay but I was getting everything put away that I ended up hand washing that day earlier putting one of our cast iron skillets away and getting all the coffee stuff put back where it's supposed to go I'm still trying to figure out a system for what I'm supposed to do at nighttime just because I end up doing so much during the day already that I don't want to do anything at night. But then I regret it instantly because I feel like there's more stuff to be done as soon as I wake up. Please do not be offended by our recycling pile there. Our recycling comes only twice a month in our town and it's awful because within our first week we usually completely fill our bin. So our bin was overly full and garbage day was the next day so we kind of just took it all out and left it by the curb just to see if they would take it or not. And luckily they did. Everything is where it's supposed to go, thank goodness, because I could not handle that any longer. Now I'm like, we are just throwing it out into the recycling bin as soon as we're done with the thing.
but a clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. We ended up taking that out right after this and everything looked so good. I was so glad to have all of that done. Now we're just going to hit my bathroom. Honestly, I timed this when I was doing it and this took me maybe five minutes at the longest just to do a quick clean. I did do the toilet the day before. I did both of our toilets the day before. So that wasn't a big deal. But this was mainly just like doing the mirror, making sure my toothbrush, toothbrush was charged, wiping down the sink, fixing the towels, simple things just to make sure the clutter doesn't keep accumulating. But the bathroom is clean. It took maybe five minutes total and it made such a difference. Now it's time just to get that laundry done. And I ended up putting it away the same day, which is amazing. That never happens ever. Like when pigs fly, that's when it normally happens. It takes me five to 10 business days just to put it away. And so I took the time just to watch something simple with my daughter and just relax and finish that up while baby Zoe is just crawling around on the floor. dining table has kind of become a catch-all for my kids mainly. I got a couple things out but I put those away super quick because I'm trying to create better habits of where I am placing our things. Okay, so I stopped by this cute little shop. It was called Joyful Bird Ministries actually. It's for women. And I found those two adorable shirts and that is called a joy box and they were free and they just have a lot of positive things inside of them. So I'm like, you know what? I will save that for a rainy day for when my depression hits and me and Maddie can open that together. But 
I just wanted to thank you guys for checking out my video. I hope you guys got a lot of motivation out of this and I will see you guys in the next one.